Okay, somebody just wrote to me and asked me about CD4s and viral load, and I've always wanted to do a video on it, but I just, every time I think about it, I keep wanting to get really scientific and into it, and I thought, you know, it's just better just to do a really quick video on what viral load is and CD4. These are the two things that you need to know if you become HIV positive. There are numbers that we always talk about as our viral load and our CD4 count. So our viral load is basically, if you don't have HIV, your viral load is zero. If you have HIV, you want to bring your viral load down to basically an undetectable level. In some countries, it's 50 and under, and this is just in a drop of blood. It's a, it's called, uh, it's the copies of HIV in that drop of blood. So in some countries, 50 and under is considered undetectable. In the U.S., my doctor goes with 20 and under, and it, there it does become a point where it's less than, uh, where it's just not detected. They can't find it anymore, although it's still there. It's hidden. Um, just the, there's a little bit of it left that's hidden. So um, when I was diagnosed, my copies were 507,000 and one little drop of blood. I've heard people in the 11 million range. It, it, and, and with medication, it drops really quickly. It's so fast, the medication takes care of it. Within weeks, you wouldn't believe how fast it goes away, but it does, it stops the replication. There's three drugs and, um, and all the combinations of pills that we take. I take one pill that has three drugs in it. Some people take two different pills or you know, three different pills depending on where they live and what's what they have access to. Okay, so that's the viral load. It's how much virus is in your blood. And, um, you know, we obviously want it to be a very low number, but when we're, most people are diagnosed, it's quite high. And of course, when I saw that 507,000, I equated it with myself being disgusting and dirty. I was like, my God, how did I have a number like that in me? That is so gross. And, you know, I, it comes, I came to find out that that number is actually quite common common when people are diagnosed because a lot of people don't know they have it until they get sick and by the time they get to that point their number is quite high but again the medication turns it down really quick it, it it stops the replication and I know within a week of me taking because they did take my blood several times when I was first sick I know within a week it went from 507,000 down to like 22,000 it was very fast and then you know it went down to 1200 like a few weeks later I mean it, and it was literally gone you know very very low not gone very very low within like um, five five or six weeks and so and then down to undetectable okay so that's viral load CD4 is your immune system everybody has CD4 numbers everybody um, and of course it's not anything you <clears throat> really think about until you have HIV but your most people are in the if you don't have HIV your CD4 count would be anywhere from like 700 to 1500 depending if you're sick if you have a cold and you don't have HIV your CD4 count will drop because your body's working on dealing with that um, infection so it does it does fluctuate for people that don't have HIV also um, but HIV is what attacks those cells okay so those cells get attacked it's those are your CD4 cells there that's your immune system and um, when you go so so somebody that has HIV and gets AIDS it's when their CD4 count goes below 200 okay so mine did that I went below 200 I know people that have gone below 10 and they're alive and well today and doing great your CD4 count d does recover and so it comes back they can multiply and recover once the HIV is dealt with with your medication and it's being brought down then your CD4 can go oh, okay we're gonna recover now because the C HIV is not attacking us anymore but it takes time and when your number goes below 200 it takes even more time to get your number back up high but I do know people that have HIV that are in the 1500 range because they've been on medication for a long time and their CD4 count either never went really low or it went low and they've had enough time for it to recover. So um, even though you have HIV, your CD4 count can go back up and be like a completely normal person. And even if it is under 200 and you are in the diagnosis of having AIDS, meaning you're more susceptible to opportunistic infections, um, you can still live a really normal life. I know somebody right now who's around 140 and she's working full time and she feels fine. She's doing everything normally. Um, so, um, and I remember that as well. I was surfing and everything before my CD4 went back up to 200. I wasn't walking around feeling sick. I felt fine. 
But um, the CDC will say in their paperwork, because their paperwork or their wording hasn't caught up to today's medication, um, back in the day when somebody was diagnosed with AIDS, that was it. They had AIDS and they were probably going to die from it. So once they had an AIDS diagnosis, they always had an AIDS diagnosis because once they got, once they got to that point, there was no way to turn it around. But with today's medication, it can be turned around and we can get out of that um, below 200 number and climb back up. So the CDC still needs to fix that. Um, I, I'm not gonna ever consider myself somebody with AIDS because I don't have it anymore. My CD4 count is above 200 and I'm not gonna say that I have AIDS. I just won't. So um, some people choose to say that once they had AIDS, they always have AIDS. That's their choice, but I'm not going to. So that's how it is. Um, CD4 and viral load. I hope that made sense. A really quick little jump edit here I just remembered um, I'm not more sick because I have HIV HIV doesn't affect me at all as far as I know I don't feel any different than I ever have so when I get a cold everything's the same as it normally is um, so I don't feel any sicker or I don't feel like I'm getting more illnesses I'm super healthy I don't feel like HIV is affecting me at all um, it's laying dormant in some my lymph cells and it's sleeping. So how would that affect me if it's sleeping and doing nothing? It's doing nothing. It's it's doing nothing. So um, I am feel incredibly normal and I don't feel like um, HIV is affecting me in any way at all other than I have to take a pill every day. But that's it. Mm -hmm.